Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. What's happening? As you guys can see, show some most Paul can too, man. First and foremost, the website's been going bananas, so really thank all you guys who have purchased things and do support Thrift Heaven Vintage. It has been going nuts. I've done like three drops in three days, and they've all been hitting. So I don't know if I'll keep up with the pace, but just as a little life update, before we get into today's thrifting adventure, my dog is back. My pup ranger had to get six inches. <gasps> six inches of his intestines taken out. He either had like holes in them or like a, a, there was a bone caught in there too. And I don't, I don't even really eat meat like that. So I don't feed him bones, but maybe a neighbor lobbed something over the fence, but he's fine. And also speaking of fine, you know, I'm feeling myself in this Raiders V-neck. I'm feeling myself. So a lot of y'all be sleeping on the V-necks. All you need is a necklace just to break down that neckline and uh, really have something going on. But without further ado, man, we're gonna head on to the first thrift of the day and get it crack a lacking. Smash the like button before this video gets started. We back, we better than ever. Let's get in these trenches. The store's about to open in one minute. There's a fat line of people. We about to get it though, man. All right, guys, we're live in the building right now. I had a hilarious interaction outside. I'm gonna tell you guys about that in a second, but there's some stuff in here. All right, so first and foremost, in the jacket section, there's a cornucopia of awesomeness. This looking like a pinata. Again, it kind of looks like arcade carpet. Absolutely stunning. And it's a $7 active sensation. Oh, sensational. Sensational. And then you got the Tuskegee, Alabama vintage little hoodie. Shout out the Tuskegee Airmen one time. This is $9, $4.50 today. We got to grab both. All right, then again, seven, the magic number. Got a couple of little windbreakers, break wind like a boss, workout in style, maybe get a run in with a little bit more flavor than normal. Aquaberry Double XL Cheetah brand. All right, now you guys know I had to peruse the polo section too. And uh, you got the no logo brand? What? This thing has a big logo on it. This looks like it'd be straight out of NFL films. And it appears this cameraman got hit straight in the side by a linebacker. Um, what is this? Why, 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 and how? Six dollars. And then you got the Tommy Fuyamami Butamus Plaid Picnic Blanket Polo. See, I love the multifunctionality. 450 Tommy Fuyamami. Good God, dude. I didn't know they were selling Dayton's at the thrift. Holy hell, man. Throw this hundred spoke on my car. Wait a second. Hold on, is this like a tortilla holder? <laughs> I'm so ignorant. Hey, literally though, if you had a tri-school, you could really rim it up. You could give it a nice rim job. Oh, let me stop, let me stop, let me stop. What? Dude, these chairs look astoundingly cozy and fancy. They're like velour, but um, I'm gonna use them to display the two t-shirts that I found that I like. Got the Pomeranian, little furry dude, annoying ass bark. You already know that dog will have it. And then, bro, I had to get this. It got that Butamus Thrift Sausage, that hot dog, apple pie, Chevrolet, America's favorites. Hold on, let me make sure that ain't a stain. Bruh, that is definitely a pink Kool-Aid dye on this thing. There is no way. I was just attracted to that sausage, y'all know what it is, but I guess I'm gonna have to pass today. And all right, guys, stepping out of Salvation Army, bag full of stuff. There's slight work in there, nothing's too crazy, but the craziest part actually wasn't what was in the store, it was outside of the store right before I walked in. Bruh, I had a young Karen moment with this chick. All right, so let me break this down. I pull up innocently in the parking lot. This girl pulls up and parks next to me. I'm not gonna lie, she's kind of a ting. She's kind of bad, okay? So I see her, I'm like, oh, whatever. So I'm talking in the car recording, the intro, I get out, I record a pan of the sign of the store. Every individual is like the size of my fingernail in that shot. Bruh, I walk up in line, get in the back of the line, this girl goes, hey, are you recording? I'm like, yeah. And bro, it is like Kanye West's lyrics. Bruh, I get in line, she goes, like, you, were you recording? I'm like, yeah, why? She goes, I don't want to be in your video, don't record me. So I'm like, oh, don't worry, nobody's here to watch you in the video. Like, <laughs> what? And she goes, oh, okay, I just saw you with the camera and I don't want to be in your video. I'm like, yeah, in the shot of the store, you were literally the size of my pinky nail. She goes, well, I don't want to be in the video. 
I was like, bro, you have the biggest ego because the world has been gassing you up. You really think I want to sit here and record your ass. And then I instantly was like, oh, you are one of those. But I'm like, why even talk to me, bro? Like, now I'm roasting your ass. Now you are in the video through me explaining how just egotistical and dumb you are thinking like some random person gets out the car, sees you, and then wants to record you. What? Tripping. All right, anyways, man. <laughs> With that being said, we're at the next spot, man, which is Goodwill. Now, I haven't been to a Goodwill in a minute. I kind of, I'm not the biggest fan, but we'll see if they got some stuff today. I really want to grab some VHSs because I have been converting some old tapes and I want to start incorporating them in the videos. I probably already have in this video. Let's get in there, man. Hey, I'm not going to lie. I never thought I'd hear Drake and Lil Durk on the same song in a thrift store. Bruh, let's go. All right, there's three little things in here, man, for the ladies. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Got the pink and purple armpits, gray jacket. It's okay. Monster Jam, crazy, man. Crazy. Big tires, big things, okay? And then this sweater is just really, really nice. Dude, sweater season. I'm probably going to grab this in the Monster Jam. I'll tink about you. Dude, I'm going to get a copyright strike. They got Gunna in here. What? Okay, this guy's built like me, number one. Number two, they have this cool grumpy tee, which I want. But this is why I am just not a fan of Goodwill like that anymore. They're charging $6 for this t-shirt. Out of line, dude. Okay, we're out of there. I got two things in Goodwill. That's it. It's on the fast track. Ain't no need for no pit stop. I just laugh at nigga wishing they were this high. All right, and we have arrived at the next spot of the day, which is the Family Thrift Center on Uvalde Street. Now, I am gonna tell y'all, this is a normal thrift, but they're opening an outlet on this same street this month on September 9th. It, it's subject to change, but it's opening this month. So stay tuned for that. Without further ado, let's hop into this one. Okay, guys, we're live in here. Ah, take it in, take in the scenery. Ah, oh, wafted through me, all right? <laughs> okay, so we got a couple things in this store thus far, but Lord have mercy, man. I wanna go full colonial patriotism on this taxation without representation. That's a really cool reversible bomber. This is a really bomb Tampa Bay Buccaneers heavy jacket. Actually, wait, hold on, let me, let me, let me rephrase. This is one of the most boring jackets it's just blown potential. Like, put this giant Jolly Roger on the back of this, and then we'll really be talking. But, um, speaking of talking, bruh, I do not understand this language. I wish I might. Personal foul. Personal foul. Tripping. But there are a couple of acquirable jackets. Don't get it twisted. Ohio State. I see this money through my Buckeyes. Oh, seven dollars, and then this one right here. This really tickled my fancy. You got the Tommy for your mommy, Trill figure, Thomas for your mother, flag on it. Got the multi colors. Look at the Ooh. buttons, just stunting. Thirteen. Let's go, man. I'm gonna take you home with me. Dude, this is what I love to see. The jersey section is juicy. It is dripping it is oozing with chicago heat okay you got the chicago cubs majestic giant patch you can serve yourself some dinner on this plate of a patch six dollars it does unfortunately have some stains and some wear on it but i might garden in this it's amaris ramirez i think it's from the dr and um you also have the goat the walter payton this is like a new school rendition but I guess someone just customized it or remade it. Number 34, all embroidered, super clean. Nike, it's not vintage, but it still is an amazing player. One debate in pro football may never be laid to rest. Who is the greatest running back in NFL history? And then you guys know, it's FUBU boys for life. Don't get it twisted. F Hill figure, FUBU shirt. Y'all know what time it is, man. This dude is embroidered to perfection. Perfect. The thread count is abundant. It is egregious. It is excessive. It is amazing. 10 for the win. Getting all tree. All tree, y'all. All right, this thrift store has really showed up to play. It really wants to be in the video, man. Unlike some people. 
Look at this, Fila US Open 2001. Really cool graphic, soft Ooh. fleece material. Then you have the sponsor, my guys, the vintage Puma track jacket. And you guys know Puma stays lacing me with the sponsorships. Like, look at this, this is a perfect match. Perfect. Big shout out to Puma for always showing love. I have to grab this size medium. Hopefully it fits me well and it is the right price. Seven. And then um, you also have the Harley Davidson of Cincinnati, Ohio. Got the Grim Reaper crossing the river. That river is probably so polluted it has killed a person or two. So uh, really that dude is just doing his diligence, man. Retrieving bodies from the river. This is super nice and the front's pretty clean too. Tree. And all right, my brethren, we're about to depart, man. Two last little things. You got the T.O. Terrell Owens Eagles jersey. Steps away from pressure. Throws hard. Touchdown, Terrell Owens. And going along those same bird lines, also, of course, had to get two birds, one bat. The authentic majestic Cardinals with the nice little blue rib cage. Must cop get out of here all right and there it is man another store and more scores baby so yeah some of these things i'm gonna keep most of them i am gonna flip to you guys if y'all want them again check out my website thriftheavenvintage.com it's the best way to support and of course to grab some of this gear i try and let everything go for the low as well any berries, man another big success let's proceed to the next first finding this thing st louis blues of course the st louis gear made in america primary colors and then this is an absolute cracker okay check it out vintage jerseys tag but oh come on hanger you cannot be doing me like that but look at the back oh my dick hand crafted native american pride got fabric just stitched all up on this bitch are you kidding me look at the feathers oh my goodness rest in peace that bird hopefully they're synthetic that sleeve is dirty but i still do not care the patch alone is nuts man wow yo we got some crazy crew necks starting with this one cincinnati Bengals, 1988 nutmeg mills he is munching on the pig skin <laughs> Oh my God, you need to tie your shoes before you tear an ACL, bruh. Trying to stay upright and he trips. Oh, outside of concussion protocol and everything, that boy is cutting up. This is one of the cleanest nutmeg pieces and graphics I've ever seen. Wow, and shout out Cincinnati, man. Absolutely beautiful city. Um, it's a shame that it's like dying or whatever because, wow, it's so nice and this crew neck is as well. All right, now this dude's marital status is single on the stitching. You got the Lombardi's Harley Davidson, Staten Island, New York. Look at this guy or woman, Lady Liberty, you fine as hell. I'm getting it. Kind of a chiseled jawline though, on the cool. Hey, y'all know I like going fast, but I ain't no racist. And that's a damn fact. Look at these two, that was such a bad joke. But you have the Vaveline Racing, Mark Martin. This is beautiful. Got that big Ford insignia on the helmet. Then you have the Budweiser racing. Hey, don't drink and drive yet. We'll sponsor NASCAR with our alcoholic beverages. It is what it is, man. Made in America. That's the American way. Let's go. All right, this is instantly a personal collection. Grail of the day. Oh, look at this. The NBA World Champions 1995 Houston Rockets back to back. I was only two years old when this happened. That's so sad. I wish I could go back and actually have a brain developed enough to remember this glory. This is so clean. I love the colorway. Acquisition. Dude, do I look like Shredder off Ninja Turtles? Ha ah, ah, ha ah, ah. ha. Oh, 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 oh. I feel like I might. Anyways, man. This is always going to be one of my favorite eras of vintage, man. The classics. The Nautica. The Tommy. Oh, look at that seer sucker in there. And then another Nautica vertically striped polo. Getting all tree. All drill, y'all. Dude. Oh, my goodness sakes, man. This is giving me flashbacks to my childhood, and that's why I love thrifting. You have all these vintage soccer jerseys. Absolutely amazing. Deodora number 11. Definitely was not my number. I was number 10 for the dub ski. Dude, vintage jerseys are just so damn hard. And then look at the jackets too. Number 12, Deodora. 
What is this? The St. Louis Wolf Pack with the jewelry? Oh, I'm getting this regardless of the fact. Hold on, let's see what this one is. Oh, another, another one? one? Big Diodora? Oh, yes, sir, indeed. Hey, I'll play for the Wolf Pack one time. Let's go. Yo, if it's not the GOAT, bruh. Guatemoc Blanco. Hey, dude, you still have soccer gear coming in in this thrift. The Mexico 2002 tees. Oh yeah, these are hard. That's what I love to see. Big cozy season. The fall's right around the corner. Look at this vacuum water colorway Ooh. coochie carpet sweater. Dude, let, let me, me dig, dig in, in the, the back, back of the reef. Oh, oh, oh. We got some trippy shit in the house, man. This is new school liquid blue, but it is still cool. Bruh, big size large. Grateful dead tight IT. Hold up, man. I'm probably gonna rock this on the plant channel. No lie, this is amazing. Okay, yo, this thrift is stuffed with vintage bangers today. You have the 1985 3D emblem. I'll be home early. Skirting off, man. Skirting off on a three-day haul. Look at this, hold on. Let me flip and dip, man. Dude, Kingsville 1990 truck stop. Let's freaking go, all right? And then you got the Hank Williams. Hopefully it's Hank Williams Jr. right here because I think his father's big racist. True. Lightning striking. Let's go, man. Single stitch. Hank. Dude, what the devil? You got another one, man. Another Trucking one. to country music, baby. Another 1985 3D emblem. I'm not sure how much the trucker tees go for. The Harleys usually go for like 100 bucks a piece. I guess I'll do some research and let y'all know. But we might have found a couple hundred dollar tees. Like wow, that's hair goals right there. Got the Kitty Wells vintage tee as well, single stitch. Hold on, man. Low key, she's a silver fox. She could get these inches on the cool. Holy hell, man. Holy hell. Let's freaking go. I know y'all see it. All embroidered, simple, subtle, made in USA. Nike crew neck, as legit as it gets. Look at that little Nike hit on the back of that neck. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yes. Hold on, man. I just peeped. This is an actual, actual grail of the day. Hold on, man. Let me move this little plaid piece. Check it out. Oh my dear. That is right, guys. Van Halen, 1988 OU812 Tour T. Holy hell. Single as a Pringle. Stiage, okay, made in USA on the my shirt tag. Hey man, this is my shirt. Let's go. And it's in the classic like um, grade five color scheme. That is way too clean. All right, somebody reeled me this. We got two little icy hockey jerseys, right? But bruh, big shroom number sixty nine. If this ain't a custom, this man's whole life is a troll. Oh, we're still going. Guess jeans, guess denim. Bet you can't guess what's a venom. Hold on, all embroidered. Wow. All right, guys, we're about to wrap this up. But last and certainly not least, you got the Ohio State. Hella money through my Ohio State Buckeyes gear. This is nuts, man. There's like more Ohio State stuff here than I found in Ohio. And then you also got the little Chicago Bulls logo seven. Damn it. This is a youth size, but it is crispy. It is clean and it does have seven, seven on it. Let's go. All right, did I find some great stuff in there? Of course. Is it too hot to be wearing this jacket? Yes. What I just put the hood on? Swag, swag. Y'all know what it is, man. Shout out family thrift on Hillcroft, bruh. Toodala every time. Okay guys, so I ventured on to get another store Look how big it is, look at the scenery. And this is what I call just padding the stats. Check the statistics. I've already been, I've already been browsing and dude, we got some bangers in here. But what made me start recording was I found something for the crib, just hanging up in a bag, vintage Bart Simpson, plastic head, plush body. It gets no better, what's the price? Hold on, is it two? Four dollars, you know what, I'll still take it. This is a banger, man. All right, now let's let's bust open this cart. All right, let's talk about it, man. First and foremost, you got the Team Nike 2000s Big Poop Brown, Travis Scott one brown, a $6 tee. I also got the center check on deck 
Florida Team Nike hoodie right there. Little $6 spinner, New York Yankees, same colorway, Cespedes. Oh, I'm literate. Bro, that logo is hard. No, no lie, no lie at all. Then I got this little Olympic banger in the building. Italicized font, nice and quick. Adidas track jacket, banging with the honey colored stripages. And then this piece is legit heat. The Marlboro heavy reversible winter coat. Y'all already know. Just padding the statistics. Bro, I swear to God, dude. I just cruised through the city hitting licks. Bruh. And, and most of the time I'll end up going to like three or four stores that make the video, but then I go to like three or four more. But today I said, fuck it. I'm just including everything in a video. I don't care how long it is. It's going down, man. Shout out Family Thrift Center, bruh. Y'all know what it is. Oh, and I think that outlet is opening the 16th, the one on Uvalde. And yes, indeed, Leo, guys, we are back right now from the thrifting adventure. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys want to see more content, definitely check out the last video I dropped. It is hands down the best video I have ever made on this channel. So please go ahead and watch that one. It's me buying my favorite 90s sneaker. And of course, if you guys are interested in picking up some gear, follow the Thrift Heaven official Instagram. That's how you guys know when the drops occur. I'm gonna see if I can get some gear up today for you guys. If not, there will definitely be a drop tomorrow. But regardless of the fact, I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching once again for riding with your boy. And until next time, live the dream, eat that ice cream, check out my second channel if you guys want to see some gardening. And until we meet again, I'll see y'all soon. Peace. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I rules. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.